find another job, they just turned back and started demolishing. It's very unfortunate. We can't be slaves in Nigeria. Even God give a day notice before they destroy the world. All kind of shanties everywhere. I said in the city, no. The, the, the government control, go and bring it down. <laughs> We are together, all of them say they are my customer. If something like this is a good day, they will even tell me. We go there, not be money with the call. We went there and begged them. But they are my customer. If they want to do this thing yesterday, they will even let me know. Yes, now. April this year. Not be this year, oh. Did they video me? Not be like that. Okay, even 30 minutes notice. Yeah, they do that. Okay. Uh, I'm Barrister Alex Sander Owobi, I'm Mufu, okay. and uh, I'm the lawyer in charge of this, pro uh, this property, the one demolished, and then the filling station, also the NMPC filling station. Okay. Uh, I'm the legal uh, person representing them. There's a company that owns this place, and the company, uh, but this demolition I see this morning, I'm so surprised that the prior notice of a day, even one hour, was not given to us. And then, uh, and as it's done that way, at least the women here, the men here, because of the scarcity of job in the country, they are using this place to feed their family, sponsor their family. At, at a government is supposed to give even a day notice so that they will evacuate their valuables. And even the way the demolition is done, as if the whole thing was masterminded by multidimensional conspiracies from government. That is why we don't even know because we have no capacity. But when we discovered that this demolition was not approved by the minister, we will go redress the matter. Because as a human being, majority of them are graduates. Even the female, the girls, the boy men, they are graduates. Because there is no job. That is why they are using this place. We are not even trying to question the demolition. But even God in heaven, before he destroyed the world, he gave prior notice. Even before God, uh, uh, the demolished garden of Eden, God, uh, Jesus asked, what happened? You give you time to explain yourself, but this demolition, I believe that uh, even if it's a minister, the minister should have other look. It's a certain demolition because it's affecting the public, it's affecting everybody. And then, and as a lawyer, we're supposed to be in the knowledge of this thing before it happened. I represent here for more than 10 years, and there was no day they gave us notice that they are coming today for demolition. That is my problem with them. Okay, they, they are alleging that uh, this place has become a hub of forgery. Of uh, uh, vehicle particulars and the plate numbers. What do you have to say about that? Yes, I'm, he I'm hearing this thing for the first time. All I know that they are doing here is photocopy. When the the, the, uh, the VIO issue license and other thing for them, they'll come here and do the photocopy. And then if they know that this place become a hurdle for fraudster and then forgery of document, the people that are supposed to be do investigation is police. Not that the demolition control wake up overnight and start demolition as if the people here are slaves. We can't be slaves in our country. But still, at the you know, this place, if people are occupying this place illegally, is it, is it approved by the government to occupy this place? By the Good and fine. It is not quite long that they approve the building plan here. You understand me? And then, what they are doing here, I know that, yes, what they are doing here is not what the government approved. Our quest is further stress that they would have given a day notice, a day notice to move their computer, their, their generator, and everything from here. I know that they, even, they were going to another job, they just turned back and started demolishing. It's very unfortunate. We can't be slaves in Nigeria. Even God gave a day notice before they destroy the world. And then this wicked of a person, he must give them time to do what they are doing. And then those people, the managerial organization, the organogrammatical structures of the uh, FCDA did not do the rightful thing. That is why they are now... Killing, this is killing. But this is how, indirect how killing. Are you sure that the minister is not aware of this operation? That what is sure what I'm you? saying now. Listen to me very well. Yes. Listen to me very well. I said the minister might have give the order. Give these people notice to evacuate their things. I know Wicked very well. That's He's a good and a bad person, generally. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. You understand me? Thank you. That is on that demolition. 
that we can't stop demolition. <laughs> you see, demolition, you can't go and build an illegal place. Say, for example, here is mapped out to be a green area. Then on your own, you go and build. Then you want us to come and compensate you that we are demolishing. Illegality is uh, illegality. But if we are building and we, and we want to acquire your property, we pay. Take for example now, we are going to reconstruct old Garki. Compensation has been paid since. The only thing remaining is the chief's palace, uh, which we have paid, which I approved hmm. two days ago. So I, I'm going to put it in the 2024 budget for the reconstruction of old uh, but compensation. So it's not when you sell demolition and people are crying. We're paid. <laughs> We're paid. The, if you check the new, the, the second runway, we acquired land and it's to the people. We paid. And now they're still there. And people, when you push them, that's why they start crying. We, we have nowhere to go. But you took the money. So the issue of uh, economic hardship does not apply here. Yeah. It does not apply. I mean, you, you, you see how this place is being designed, right? And somebody somewhere comes and does the role of the field there to erect a structure. And then if the National Assembly management now wants to take a decision, bring it down. They bring to oh, a poor woman. This is where she stayed to, to, to manage herself. What, what is our business there? Because of the economic hardship, we, know we should not obey the law. Then we are promoting uh, criminality. That's not that one I, that's not I can do. I have no pity for that. The monitor will continue if, like yesterday, when I went for inspection, I saw all kinds of shanties everywhere. I said in the city, no. The, the, the government control, go and bring it down. <laughs> go and bring it down. Does not make that the city should not look fine. No, no. If you are saying so, that because the economy is hardship, you are selling corn. I agree. But you build when you build the corn, you drop the refuse there. Who will come and carry for you? Who? So you are only so get refuse. Government will come carry. Who pays? So. These are things we don't need to uh, begin to pity sympathy. No, if we do sympathy, we won't go anywhere. We must be firm and take a decision. It's not every decision you take, everybody will be happy. But what's important is, is it going to help for the development of our city? That's what's important. Sorry, sorry. Director, this uh, particular place is as old as your office here. Why is the militia now, sir? Um, I think um, the development control, of course, is on its cost to remove some of uh, you know buildings that are not you know um, on the uh, legitimate approved building plans but of course we have observed over a long period of time that this uh, particular building have all illegitimate activities particularly you know piracy you know those that actually you know um, pirate some of our you know documents and then perpetrate uh, you know criminal activities so we have been making efforts over a period of time now to see how we can bust, you know, their activities, and then today, you know, at least fate caught up with them, and then the, the building is uh, the structures here that brought down, and they were able to uncover 
so many of our documents that have been pirated by the criminals, you know. And then the most important thing is that just not about revenue loss, but, you know, something that has to do with security as well. You know, because as we are trying to go into e-enforcement, some of these vehicles that are registered with fake documents will be difficult for us to track because the camera will pick them and it will show that they are not properly registered. And to track them, it will be difficult. And these are some of the vehicles that are used for criminal activities in the territory. So today is a very big day for us because this will send a big warning to others who are equally involved in this uh, piracy so that long, the, lo the long arm of the law, even though very patient, will catch up with them over time. For the sake of uh, so you can see all these uh, fake. are fake plate numbers and it's going to be very difficult for you to detect them unless with the very strong tech that we have employed now it's going to be very difficult for you mere seeing them you won't understand that they are all pirated and these are some of our documents that are equally pirated. These are forged documents. And they, they are equally, in fact, it's like, it's a, a duplication of our activities right very close to our premises. So, and then people decide to patronize them because of uh, probably, you know, just to perpetrate criminal activities, nothing else. Otherwise, look at an institution built to, you know, run a legitimate business and somebody decide to patronize you know, uh, you know, uh, I mean, fraudulent, uh, you know, organizational structures to produce something that is illegitimate. I think the, the ulterior motive is to perpetrate crime and nothing else. So we will not rest on our hours on this. This is just the beginning. We will continue to work effortlessly to see that we bust some of these activities, you know, around us here. Yeah, they, they, we will hand them over to the appropriate law enforcement agency for further investigation because, of course, it's not just these three people that are involved. I'm sure there is a network, it's a syndicate, so they will have to, like, you know, uh, put them under intensive uh, uh, investigation so that they can now, you know, lay hand on those, you know, who have been working with them, even if they are part of our staff working with them. I think they will all be brought to face the, the law properly. I think to me it's better, like I've always said in any you know, platform that I have opportunity to talk to the public, that it is always cheaper to be on the side of law, you know, because will any vehicle that is picked any moment from now without valid documents, then that vehicle will be placed under you know, uh, a suspicious, uh, you know, um, consideration for, for criminal activities. So I think it's better to patronize the Directorate of Road Traffic Services for legitimate registration. We have all it takes, and we're even making it so seamless for people now to register their vehicles because we have online activity where you can sit down in the comfort of your home and register your vehicle, you know, and pay appropriate uh, bill. So I think I advise the public to be wary of all this and then patronize you know, the RTS for you know, valid registration of vehicles. Otherwise, they will be putting their you know, uh, safety in danger. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Where is the screening? I never see it, I don't want to. Look, we're going down. Okay.
what will you say about that and what will not be the security yes. of the yes. going on here? Yes, the operation we've come to carry out this uh, morning here at the DRTS headquarters is a, an operation that has taken us a long time to plan. It's a covert operation that we try to look at those who have been forging sensitive uh, government uh, documents and we realize that people forge uh, local particulars uh, local particulars from Lagos State, from Kwara State, from different parts of FCT, I mean, a part of Nigeria. And I, we don't think that is a, a, a applicable, agreed, or the norm in the general society. And that's why we have to send in our undercover team in, uh, in collaboration with the DRTS personnel. And we're able to uh, identify this uh, suspect, and that led to the removal that we have done today. Also, we have three suspects that have been apprehended, like the director of top four suspects that have been apprehended today that are involved in this uh, forging of uh, sensitive uh, government security document, and they have been handed over to the Nigerian police for further investigation. We also recovered a phone that contains a lot of information that will aid the police uh, investigation. By and large, what uh, we have done this uh, morning is to ensure that those who think they can turn this place to another Olu Wale that we have in Lagos, they failed this morning. Wow, wow.